As we wait for it, and there goes the green flag. We're off racing here in Dubai. Closest towards us is Fazza. They've got a good start. Can't have Dubai struggle a little bit. In the middle of the pack, we've got Mohan with an excellent getaway. But look at this speed from Victory Team. They've made a brilliant charge, and they're up into second position. Sky Dive Dubai are dropping back, and they need to be careful not to get caught out on the wakes of the boat behind. But it's Fazza who have the lead as they come down towards the first corner. Victory Team then up into second position. Sky Dive Dubai dropping back an awful lot. Which is real trouble for their championship chances. You can't even see them on the screen there. But it's Fazza out in front. Second place for Victory Team. Looks like Vinex will be in third. And you can see the air getting underneath the boat as they leap over the waves. Down towards the first left hand corner. Spectacular view. Here we can see it on board the virtual eye. Skyrim Dubai have dropped back. They will still have the inside line for the first corner though. Which is crucial. But Victory Team have made a great getaway. As they make their way down towards the first left hander. Fazza leading. Boat number three. Arif Al Zubin and Nadia Bin Hendi vying to take the championship win. They're performing very strongly so far. They've made a great getaway. Second place by the looks of it will be Victory Team. If they come back towards the island for the first time to complete lap one. Skydive Dubai are up into, they've held on to that third place I should say, in front of Victory Team. Vinex looks like they're in fourth place. Spirit of Dubai have made a good start, possibly up into a fifth position as we see them on virtual eye, moving around the right-hander as they then will head back towards us and across the start line for the first time. But it's Vaza who are in the lead after a good start. Skydive Dubai then are then in third place, despite that difficult getaway. Victory Team in second. Absolutely, they, um, I don't know what's happened during the start, but uh, uh, knowing Skydive Dubai and with Jay Price and uh, Sultan al uh, they can make a, a good comeback. I see as well that Dubai Duty Free is in uh, quite a good position. We know that uh, Palveri and Tom Barikota from Australia, they've been struggling uh, at the beginning of this weekend, but we see them here uh, within the, the first pack. Yeah, absolutely. Very good start for them. Here comes the pace gap through, but it's Fazza who are out in front at the moment. Great start for them. That's exactly what they needed. A win from anywhere on the top three for Fazza will be enough to seal the championship this season. They're doing 170 kilometers an hour as they head out once again along the back stretch, but Skydive Dubai and Victory Team are pretty close to one another. It's going to be uh, very difficult for Skydive Dubai to make the pass, but what point will they choose to do their long lap? That's the and they are, thing. they are running now the first uh, race lap, uh, and this round is Dubai DT3 round. Yep. They come back Majid down, we'll have a, have a look at it, try and spot exactly uh, who is where. Yeah, the uh, the dignitaries watch on. Fazza are coming back down in the lead of the race, no doubt, but the battle for second position I think is going to be very, very entertaining indeed. It's also good to see the 22 boat from Videx have made a good start. As uh, everyone enjoys the powerboat racing here, as the boats now make their way back down. There is Victory Team then, as they flash through the spray. Where are Skydive Dubai in comparison to them? That's going to be the interesting thing to find out as we start to zoom out. Where will the white number seven boat be? Will they be close behind or a little bit further behind? They are behind. Uh, probably, it's probably equidistant really between top three. Oh, there you can see actually Skydive Dubai doing a good job. Yeah, Moadu doing a good job. They look like they're in the fourth the place. This is the sixth boat of Nicolini trying to get past the Spirit of Dubai. Boat number 11 further out. This is uh, Tommaso Poli and Matteo Nicolini piloting the sixth boat. They have got the inside line coming into the final corner. So it looks like they might be able to move up the place. I'm not sure if Moad are in the fourth place. Actually, they might be still in that fifth position as they come around the exit of the final corner. First lap of 12. And Spazza leading the way. This now is all in Spazza's hands. All in the hands of Arif Al and Nadir Ben Hendi. Not only by a strong back then, but in third place. The first long lap of the Nicolini did manage to get past. So they're now up to Moad in front of Kutati and in front of 
Oh, there they go. I was just saying it. Spirit of Dubai look like they're out of the race, unfortunately. Which is a real shame. Spirit of Dubai has ended very early. So that means uh, we've only got 13 boats still running for Spirit of Dubai out of this race after running as high as it, it looks like they are uh, back now uh, to the race course. Yeah, they are back, so it doesn't look like they have any to get the engine. So. They started the season in commanding fashion. They won the first race of the year in Abu Dhabi. They won the second race of the year here in Dubai. They struggled. They were leading in Dubai in the third heat. But they had engine problems and finished 10th. Two second places in Stressor and China. And then a win at the final round of the season is going to be enough to secure the 2013 UIM Skydab Dubai x -Cat World Series victory for Faza. Here they come towards the checkered flag. Arif al Zafin, Nanir bin Hendi and Mohamed al Mari are the 2013 x -Cat World Series champions. So first place for Fazer across the line, the checker flag falls for the victory boat coming through in second position. Skadab Dubai I think will be ruining that start where they seem to not really get on the throttle quickly enough and they come across the line to finish in third place. Jay Price was looking forward to pushing Faza all weekend, but it didn't quite work out that way in the race. Diego Maradona holds on to that checker flag and will soon be coming through uh, to uh, wave it to the fifth place boat, which I think should be boat six for Nicolini. But there is Arif al Zafin and Nadir bin Hendi about to climb out of the boat and celebrate on the open water. There come Nicolini across the line to finish in fourth position. In boat six. Arif al Zafin with his hands aloft. Nadir bin Hendi about to climb out. Thumbs up from them. Fifth place for Westland Racing as they come across the line now. He's also got the coolest trainers of any pilot as well. Everyone else wears boring white and black ones with bright blue and yellow. <laughs> so across the line just to uh, finish all that off, Moad finished in sixth place in boat number 50, seventh place for boat 30 of Dubai GT3, which is a fantastic performance from Tom Barry Cotter and Power Brick Nielsen. Really happy for them. Eighth place across the line is for Jera Racing Team. But there we can see the pilots of boat three. Left hand side, Nadir bin Hendi. Right hand side, Arif al Zafin. What a fantastic season.